everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. We got back, a little bit of stuff to talk about, but first, first, let's get our character to sleep. He's in a lot of trouble, uh, and by trouble I mean he's exhausted. And, yeah, we'll go, but we'll go to bed. It's gonna be a bit early to go to bed, but, uh, might as well get some sleep now, then, rather than nothing, than, uh, waiting later and making him sleep later than he probably would like to. So, we, uh, last episode decided that we were gonna move safe houses to the one we're currently in. That posed a couple of problems, primarily because we needed to go back to our old safe house and get all of our stuff. We attempted to do that, uh, and we came to the harsh discovery that it is surrounded by a horde. Whatever drove it there, which was probably gunshots and helicopter noises, uh, as well as some house alarms, kind of drew them all there, as far as I know. So, uh, we can't really go in there. We're gonna have to wait, give it time before we can actually go there. Um, on the other hand, we did swap our weapons from the absolute garbage golf club, uh, to the frying pan, which is surprisingly a little bit better. Um, by a little bit, I mean a lot. There's a lot of one-shot kills involved with the, uh, with the frying pan, so, um, we don't really have to worry too, too much anymore, uh, about our weapon of choice. I mean, the danger that the, uh, frying pan poses, uh, is, is merely just the fact that its range is not as good as, like, a golf club or the baseball bat. Closing all the curtains in the house, by the way, using up all of our sheets. Uh, outside of that particular worry that I have, or the, that particular um, downside that this weapon has, we have ourselves a really solid weapon on our hand. So uh, we can kind of rest assured or rest easy that if push comes to shove, we are going to have plenty of stuff to defend ourselves with. I'm not really worried about it anymore. All right, what other, how, what other areas of the house have we not covered up? That looks like one is good, is good. This window right here, we'll do it from the inside, though. Let's go in here. Uh, making this as safe as possible is, of course, uh, one of the primary concerns that we always have. One of the things I want to do, too, is find an axe, as I said, episode after episode after episode. And, of course, one of you told me where I can find one. Um, following this road, I guess, uh, will lead me to a police station of some sort. So I think... Since we're killing time as it is while we're waiting for uh, things to become safe for us to once again travel, I think we're going to head up that road and see if it comes up to that police station that somebody mentioned, I think. I think that's what you said. Um, so I'm going to grab a bag of chips and we have an apple and stuff, so we should be okay. And we're going to go on a little adventure. We're going to head down the road and hope that we do come across the police station. I believe the actual thing that you said was that there's a police station and near that police station will come across a warehouse nearby, of which has a high probability of having an axe inside, as most warehouses do. And if we do come across an axe, I can then spend my spare time planning construction of the fort uh, that I want to build. What I would ideally like is to be able to go back to my old safe house, though, and get, um, and get the, what do you call it, uh, the carpentry book that I think that is there. I'm pretty sure there's one there. Um, we're going to dip this way, I'm not going to head up that road. I I think that's the road we went up last time, so we're just going to go down this way. I'm hoping that you guys are talking about this road. Alright, here's train tracks. We are going... Alright. So... If, hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. I... I have no... I, okay, I know I've come across the train tracks before, and I think I followed them this way before, and I'm... Is this what you guys are talking about? Whoa. I haven't been here before. This is the train station. Okay. We have a train station here. Very likely to have some sort of zombies in it in some fashion. We'll take what we can grab. We'll do a quick look and we'll dip out. We'll kind of keep an eye on the situation while we wait. Got that. Alright. Could take the trowel. Might be useful later. Weighs what? Takes about one, one full slot here. All right. A little nervous. All right. Let's uh, see if we can get inside. No, but there is a, uh, a window over here. I love the graffiti. This thing looks great. This looks super good. I love the way it looks. All right. Beat down. Run down. Okay. Really? Is an alarm in here? That's obnoxious. We'll take the lighter. We'll continue looking around. Hopefully this is so far out in the middle of nowhere that it's not really going to attract anything. At least that's my hope. Uh, what's over here? A back nothing area. 
with a battery, which we don't need. Alright, chill out, alarm. There's no need to be freaking out right now. I already checked this. I'm trying to listen. I don't hear any moaning or banging, meaning this is probably empty. I wonder if we could bash it open with this. Look. Sounds like we can. So we can swing at this. I don't know how long it's going to end up taking, um, but I'm going to attempt to break it down just to see if this is a bathroom of some sort. Because if it's a bathroom, then I know I can just ignore the next one over. But I think breaking this down and checking out what could potentially be in it is actually a really good idea. Um, one of the things I'd love to do... I'd like to see maybe implemented at some point. I mean, this is just something that's popping out of my head. Is that if I have the hammer equipped and I right-click on the door, um, I could potentially have the option to, like, unhinge it. Actually, no, there's no hinges on the outside of a door. Never mind, I'm an idiot. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, from the back side, maybe, but that would be kind of stupid if I was going to unhinge something from the inside. All right, I don't know, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm, I, I'm sure it'll break down at some point. I can charge up a shot. I'm curious if that's going to do anything. We gotta look around too and make sure we don't get attacked by any zombies. I I think I'd hear them coming before I actually see them. Um, but you never know. Just keep swinging at this thing. Kind of break it down. Do a little bit of exploration, a little bit of savage, salvaging. Now, not surprisingly, that air train station had pretty much nothing in it. Did I hear moaning? I swear I, hear, I heard something. Maybe I'm just dumb. Back to breaking down the door. This frying pan. I can just imagine this guy beating on a door with a frying pan. It wouldn't work. Well, I mean, maybe it would. Probably take a long time. I don't... Is this... This guy actually may, might not actually work. And as I say that... Alright, let's, uh... It's a bathroom. A couple of shelves. Might be worth checking out at some point. For now... I'm going to say it's not worth busting down or spending the time to bust down the other side. It is a bathroom. It is exactly as I suspected. Um, we can just keep going up this way. I'm assuming this will lead to nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a wild stab here and saying that nothing is going to be up this way. We're going to just do a little bit of exploring. Worst comes to worst, we can crash in the train station for the night. Again, I think we're so far away from civilization that a zombie really... Uh, horde would not have heard that alarm going off. Yeah, this is pretty much My concern is that this is going to go into utter nothingness for right now So I'm going to turn around and we'll go back to that uh, intersection and we will Then re kind of plan where we're going to head Let's take a look at our water Can we still got a, a lot left I'm thinking that's what that means Still got a good chunk on the frying pan as well All right, not bad Actually, I'm really excited that I actually discovered this train station. I know it sounds silly, but it's something I haven't seen yet. And uh, I really like what they did with it. I, 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 it sounds so simple, but um, it just looks good. The, the, the graffiti, the trash everywhere, the kind of broken down, kind of poorly repaired walls. A missing door almost seems like, you know, somebody attempted to survive here or something and just ended up failing. Just because the doors are repaired. So yeah, I don't know. I like it a lot. I just like the look of it. It really resounds with me. And I think that's what I like about this game is that they, there are certain tile sets that just work really well and uh, make the game just more moody. And I, I, that's one of them. All right, let's... Um, we came from the north. Let's head south. Let's see what's down this way. Let's continue to follow the road as though that's what that person had commented on. Because I don't think he said turn and head south after, or take a right or a left or whatever. So let's continue down this way. Now, if this obviously starts turning into absolute nothingness, we'll turn around and head back. Um, forest zombies, I'm pretty sure are, are actually a threat. The random wanderers, the random lurkers in the forest, but I'm not terribly concerned. One, because I'm going to try and pace myself with the running so that I don't end up exhausted. And two, my frying pan is a weapon of mass destruction that uh, George W. Bush should have been more worried about. The frying pan belonging to Mathis Hill. We c Okay. Yep, we're coming up to a street and some street signs. So, potentially something. I wish I could, I could read this. So let's head this way. 
I mean, we're... We, I mean, uh... I would like to find a place to crash, at least because I would like to not have to run all the way back to my safe house to rely on some safety. But I'm not entirely sure that that's going to be possible. Because now we're heading back up north, so we're going to be heading back towards the city. But I almost want to, because it's getting late. And... I don't know, I just don't trust being out in the middle of nowhere and doing this. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Where is this going to lead? This dirt road leads into the forest, presumably. Yeah, hell no. I'm not that stupid. I don't have camping supplies. And I don't know if camping is 100% uh, working yet. But we'll see. What a what? We're getting tired now. Things are getting a little bit more dangerous. We're definitely far away from home, but as long as we can get back to this road, I can make the trek back. Alright, uh... A little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Worried that I'm, I'm so far away from anything that could be considered even remotely safe. Uh, for the night, rather. I don't want to die of hunger, thirst, and starvation. Uh, hunger and starvation being the same thing, obviously, but my own poor human brain can't quite separate the two sometimes. And I, I'm remaining kind of, I don't want to say I'm remaining quiet, my chatter has lessened because I'm genuinely worried for my character right now. He's not in a good spot. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in a good spot. I'm, uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a bad place for a lone survivor to be with only an apple and some chips, something that I thought would be relatively simple. Uh, has become a lot more dangerous, and I'm thinking I should just turn around at this point. I think I should just cut my losses and turn around. Something's driving me to continue marching forward, though. Uh, where, oh, where am I? Alright, I am gonna turn around. There's nothing here. I can hear you guys already yelling, Matt, if you just had walked a little further, you would have found something. Alright, you know what? Screw it. We're going to cut our losses and head back. We're going to make it back home. But I think we'll save that for next episode. Meaning I'm going to keep playing and recording, but you'll see it next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, my fear for my safety is uh, paramount right now. I'll see you guys later.